After so many long trips recently, it's nice to go on a shorter social day out in the aeroplane. But by doing so, did I let my guard drop and fall foul of private pilot complacency? Join me on this flight as I analyse why I came so close to a controlled airspace infringement. So it's a fairly misty morning down here in the south of England today and I'm out of breath because I've just pushed out Oscar Romeo and it's one of the heavier planes here for some reason. Uh, we've got the fleet of Red Hill Aero Club Cub Air Flying School all out and uh, the plan is to go up to North Weald for a fly out today. So I've not been there before, looking forward to that. Red Hill Tower, Golf and Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, outbound with Papa 1010. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, outbound message. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, PA28, opposite Arena, with Papa 1010, one on board, uh, outbound flight to North Weald. Golf Oscar Romeo Tower, Roger, following the 172 Whiskey Sierra from your left, via the taxiway to hold Bravo 2, runway 07, squawk 3767. Follow the 172 from the left, uh, and then it's taxi Bravo 207, score 3767, Golf, Oscar Romeo. Okay, here we go. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Airspeed's alive, temperatures and pressures are green. Golf uniform Zulu Junction. Golf uniform Zulu Tower on basic service, no air traffic in to the west. Basic service, Golf uniform So we're up and away. Runway zero seven cleared for takeoff. Surface wind is uh, using the short runway at uh, Red Hill today. Zero seven, go for it, Alpha. Just come out of the 100-hour check, and the yoke is nice and smooth. <laughs> it's very responsive. So it's obviously been uh, greased. So apart from some low-lying mist now, it's, uh, it's 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 cleared up quite a bit actually. We're expecting runway two zero North Weald. So that'll be a right downwind join. Probably do a crosswind join actually, right crosswind. Golf. Circuits there are 1200 on the uh, QNH, and they're just below the uh, CTA, the standard CTA, so we have to be especially careful. Golf Oscar Romeo is east of Bow Beach Reservoir now in the climb to 2200. Request frequency change to south end 130 decimal 780. Golf Oscar Romeo, Tower Roger, school 7000, free call, uh, south end approach, bye bye. Squawk 7000, goodbye, Golf Oscar Romeo. This is Gulf Whiskey Sierra, we are south of Beach Bianca, we intend a crosswind join over the 02 numbers. If you're a pilot, it helps if you can multitask. The QFE is 999 hectopascals. Here, I'm listening to two frequencies at once. Gulf Whiskey Sierra. Gulf Whiskey Sierra, Zulu, slow down. It's about 2,500. I'd like you to park to the left where that blue cone is, just past the Bravo 4 taxi sign. So what we're doing is we're listening to North Weald on box two, whilst taking a listening squawk from South End. So that's why you're hearing two people talking at once. Golf Echo Juliet, where would you like to park? Golf Echo Juliet, carry on to the cross runway and exit from the cross runway. So it's quite useful. You get a, you get a feel of what they're doing there and where they're parking people, where they're exiting off the runway. We already kind of knew that runway 20 was in use. I'd already planned a crosswind join. That seems to be what everyone else is doing. So it kind of is just, it, it's just comforting to know what's going on. But even though it looks like I'm on the ball, what's about to happen will shatter any illusion I may portray that I'm a competent pilot. I thought I'd brief this flight well. I considered my join options, noted the controlled airspace, and as you've seen, I'm building situational awareness early by listening to North Weald on box two. So how long have we got to go? Estimate threshold seven minutes. Right, we'd better call them then, haven't we? Golf Whiskey Sierra is downwind to land. See if you can work out my shortcomings as we make our approach. North Weald Radio, good morning. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Uh, Brentwood uh, request aerodrome information. Golf Oscar Romeo, go to T-Dales, 2-0 right-hand circuit, QNH 1010. 2-0 right-hand circuit, 1010, Golf Oscar Romeo. 
So far all is OK and I seem to know where I am which is good. So there's that mast there. Fuel radios tuned. Engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. I know I have to be below 1500 feet to avoid controlled airspace above North Weald and I begin my descent in good time. So we've got Epping, which I imagine is there, isn't it? And it's just this side of that. At five miles to run, I'm looking for the airfield. There it is. Roger. Golf Oscar Romeo, we are chipping Hongar and we'll make a crosswind join, runway 20. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger. Golf Oscar Romeo, for the final to land, runway 20. Surface wind is calm. There are four runways at North Weald. It's important I choose the right one, of course. Runway 20 is in use, and I look at my direction indicator to build a picture of where that is. To 20. That way, isn't it? My assessment at this point is correct. I'm heading northwest, so runway heading 200 is to my left. I remember being conscious of a noise sensitive area on the east side of the aerodrome and I positioned myself to avoid that. But for reasons unknown to me, I'm positioned for a crosswind join for the opposite runway, runway 02. Golf right, Golf 20, right hand circuit, QNH 1010. 20, QNH 1010, Golf my Golf. I realise that I've made a mistake right here, less than a mile from the runway and begin a turn away from the airfield, remaining dead side. I've turned left, presumably because I know that Stansted controlled airspace is less than two miles to the right. I've got your details, 20 right hand circuit, QNH 1010. I've got my bearings all wrong, so I'm going to... Uh... So hang on a minute, that's 02, that's 20. So where are we heading now? I know I wasn't where I was meant to be, but in spite of GPS and excellent visibility, my brain is struggling to fathom what is going on. It's a loss of situational awareness. So where are we heading now? Is that zero 02? OK, I recognise the aeroplane. So we're well, heading zero 02. We need to land that way. I finally work out what's going on, and just in time too, while my brain is rebooted, I've tracked north towards Stansted Class D controlled airspace. What's more, at the time, I had no idea that was where I was heading. Don't know quite what went wrong there. Um, basically, got my bearings all, all mixed up. Got Oscar Romeo, crosswind 2 0. Got Oscar Romeo, Roger. It's only by reviewing the flight and looking at the GPS track that I can see how bad this was. I was a thousand metres or just half a mile from big trouble. If I did it for just another 20 seconds, I would have infringed the Stansted control zone. Brakes, undercarriage, mixture, fuel, landing light, carb heat, DI. How this situation arose has been a bit of a mystery to me. I think I fixated on avoiding a built-up noise sensitive area and then confused my orientation. Ultimately, I blame complacency. I should have spent more time studying the chart before flight to build a better picture of the arrival options. Drawing the expected join on my paper chart might have helped me too. Essentially, I wrongly routed to the northeast of North Weald Village, whereas I should have joined from the southeast. Golf Oscar Romeo, late down wind 20. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger. Uh, golf Mike Golf, it's ready for departure. Got one late down wind, have you got time? Hey uh, Sam, Golf Mike Golf. Surface wind is calm. Golf Mike Golf. So, what can I learn from this? In future, if I'm visiting an aerodrome with multiple runways, I need to be aware of the risk of confusion. If there's controlled airspace nearby, even if I don't plan to fly close to it, I should be aware that an error or unplanned flight path could lead to an infringement. And thirdly, I shouldn't fixate on one task, such as noise abatement, to the detriment of others. Golf Oscar Romeo, final 2-0. Surface wind is calm. Landing, Golf Oscar Romeo. 
So that's my analysis, having reviewed all the unedited footage, ATC recordings and GPS tracks. If you see anything I've missed, please let me know. Subscribe, like and visit my website. Fly safely, my friends.